Achieving financial stability and freedom is a multifaceted process, and there are many strategies and techniques that people can use to work toward these goals. The exact number of techniques varies depending on who you ask, as financial advice can be highly personalized based on individual circumstances, goals, and risk tolerance. But there are proven methods to how so many people can get out of financial anxiety and into financial stability and freedom. Stick with us and we will let you know everything you need to know to set yourself up for financial success. Welcome back to Mind Polish. Let's hop right in. To most of us, our finances are a mystery. We roughly know how we earn money and how we spend them. To Americans and much of the world, mostly employees or contractors, there exists an exchange of time in order to earn money. This equation means that to many of us, the only source of income is our jobs, and we don't have more than the daily 24 hours to earn more. With these jobs comes mediocre savings strategies like putting money towards a 401k and getting a boost from our employers. To many Americans, that is all we know. However, there exists so much more strategies that can help us increase our earnings and potentially reduce the financial burden and anxiety that we are often put in, living paycheck to paycheck. Investing in education and career opportunities to increase earning potential is all we are taught, and while it is a great boost, how come so many high-paid individuals still struggle and live paycheck to paycheck? Having a high-paid job is definitely an advantage, however, people always tend to upgrade their lifestyles in conjunction with their income, resulting in financial failure. If we earn $3,000 a month, we live to that limit, if we earn $9,000 a month, what most of us do is upgrade our lives to that limit as well. But, the financial secret that sets so many other people to succeed financially is living below their means. So before we explore the strategies to reach financial stability, let's take a step back and discuss how earning money works. After years of using barter as a means to get what we want, money has become a way to exchange value. Earning money essentially involves receiving compensation in exchange for providing goods, services, or labor, and that money stores the value of what you provide to exchange it with what you want. Income comes in two different channels, and they are active income and passive income. Active income includes employment, where you work for an employer as an employee. In return for your time, skills, and labor, you receive a salary, wage, or payment of some sort. This is the most common way people around the world earn money, often needing education to be able to get employed. You get taxed before you are able to spend your money. Freelancing and gig work, where you are offering your skills or services on a project or task basis or as a contractor. You earn money for each job or project completed, often through platforms that connect freelancers with clients. Like being employed, you get taxed before you are able to spend your money. Digital platforms, like creating content or providing services online can also generate income. This includes monetizing blogs, videos, or podcasts through advertising, sponsorships, or subscriptions. You also get taxed before you spend your money. Business ownership, where you own a business, you earn money by selling goods or services. Profit comes from revenue after deducting expenses like production costs, salaries, and operational costs. After that, whatever is left is taxed. The other type of income is passive income which includes investments. These include investing in stocks, bonds, companies you do not manage, real estate, or other investment vehicles like insurance policies. Returns on investments can come in the form of dividends, interest, or capital gains when you sell the investment for more than you paid. Earning money from such assets you own or have created, such as rental income from property, royalties from books or patents, or earnings from online content takes a lot of work and patience. But, the key characteristic of passive income is that it requires little to no effort to maintain once the initial work or investment is made. So what if you only have a job, and you either don't have time, can't take the risk, or feel like you don't have enough money to even take the risk and invest for your future, what are the options? The irrefutable fact of having more money on the side is budgeting, 
which can enable you create more streams of income or opportunities for investments. Nothing else spells disaster than an unmanaged flow of money. Even worse, one that is continuously based on impulse and spontaneity. Creating and sticking to a budget to manage expenses and save money is the only factor that sets people for success. The most important rule is to always live below your means, not within it, or above it. So, how do you go about doing that? First, start by tracking your income and expenses. Calculate your total monthly income after taxes and any other deductions. Include all sources of income, such as salaries, bonuses, freelance income, and any passive income streams. Once you know what comes in, track all your expenses for a month or two. Categorize them into essentials, rent, utilities, groceries, and non-essentials, dining out, entertainment, impulses, and splurges. Then create a budget plan. Allocate funds for essential expenses first, ensuring you can cover your basic living costs. To many people, tightening this area as much as possible is what gives them so much money on the side that can be allocated to their debt, savings, or investments. So the key is to minimize essential expenses, but hardcore goal setters also cut non-essentials altogether for as much as they can. This is always up to you. Frugality will definitely get you where you want sooner, but it also has its drawbacks on social life and mental health. Once you know your essentials, if you have debt, allocate a portion of your budget to paying it down, focusing on high-interest debt first, creating a snowball effect. Depending on your goals, if you want to clear your debt first, that is up to you, but if you want to save while you pay your debt, then set aside a portion of your income for savings. Aim for an emergency fund that covers three to six months of living expenses, and then save for other goals like retirement, a down payment on a house, or vacations. As you save your money, aim to leave it in a high yield account, which is the least you can do to save your money from annual inflation. With the remaining funds, budget for non-essential expenses. It's important to allow yourself some enjoyment, but these should be the first area to cut if you need to tighten your budget. There are many tools and apps available that can help you track your income and expenses, visualize your spending, and stay on top of your budget. Whether it is the conventional spreadsheet or tracking apps, use whatever suits you. But always know that your budget isn't set in stone. Review it regularly, at least once monthly, and adjust as your financial situation or goals change. Beyond saving money in a savings account, consider investing in stocks, bonds, insurance, or retirement accounts to grow your wealth over time. This should be done according to your risk tolerance and time horizon, and if you have the ability to do so, consider talking with a financial advisor. These people are not reserved for high net worth individuals only, there are many out there who can guide you at each level you're at. One key element for your journey is to minimize and manage debt. Avoid accumulating additional high interest debt. Use credit cards wisely, paying off balances each month to avoid interest charges whenever possible, and do not use debt to buy liabilities. Practice discipline in spending, avoid impulse purchases, and focus on long-term financial health over short-term gratification. Anything that feels like fear of missing out should be avoided. Again, if you're unsure about how to manage your finances, consider consulting a financial advisor. They can offer personalized advice tailored to your unique situation. So, once you have your budgeting working for you, aim to diversify your surplus into different vehicles. Growing wealth is not a short-term goal. It will take time, sweat, and tears. But, one thing is for sure, and that is it will be the best decision you make. Investing can be a tricky thing to discuss, because it really depends on one's risk tolerance. However, the channels available for investments include stocks, bonds, real estate, crypto, insurance, 401k, IRAs, or other pension plans and investment vehicles. One key element to reduce risk is to spread investments across different assets and vehicles. The diversification will protect you from a sudden disruption that may occur to one or more of these investments, saving you and your family from unforeseen circumstances. All in all, understanding money, how it works, 
and how you can utilize your earnings to create more income or to increase your wealth is not a secret at all. It is in plain sight. However, it does take a lot of effort, sacrifices to matters where people usually seek instant gratification and adopting a positive and proactive attitude towards money and financial decisions. One thing is for sure, neither extravagance in your finances or stingness will be of benefit to you. Seeking moderation, coupled with good management of your resources will set you far ahead of anyone else. In conclusion, the journey towards financial stability and freedom is both complex and intensely personal, rooted in individual circumstances, goals, and comfort with risk. Despite the diversity of paths available, the foundation of financial well-being lies in understanding the basics of money management, earning, saving, investing, and spending wisely. By embracing budgeting as a tool for strategic planning, actively managing debt, and thoughtfully diversifying income streams, individuals can navigate the challenges of financial planning. It's about striking a balance between discipline and flexibility, frugality and enjoyment, immediate needs and long-term aspirations. Above all, a commitment to continuous learning, adaptation, and the willingness to seek professional guidance when necessary can transform financial dreams into achievable realities. Through these concerted efforts, the elusive goal of financial freedom becomes not just a possibility, but an attainable outcome for those who persevere. If you feel like you have benefited from this video, help us by hitting the like button. Don't forget to share this benefit to those around you, and if you'd like to be receiving great content, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified with our newest content. Thank you, and see you in our next video.